Well, here it is, Friday, and most of the Thursday snow is gone. The exception, Upper Peninsula could still get a little lake effect here going on through Thursday night into Friday. Another inch could fall there, but otherwise cold Arctic high pressure has taken over a good chunk of the United States. And now that it's here, it's going to stay with us this week. Yeah, for the next seven days from this Friday to next Friday, it's going to be cold and it's going to be dry. Maybe by next Saturday, finally, the uh, Arctic high will start to retreat and lower pressure from the west will come our way. But that's a, a very iffy chance right now. From now until then, it's going to be awfully chilly. With temperatures very similar to what we see here with our short-term forecast. For Friday night into Saturday for Minnesota, actual air temperatures will run from 20 below inland to 5 below by the lake. And with a northwest wind going 10 to 20 miles per hour, feels like temperatures could be in the 30 to 40 below range. And we do then have a a wind chill advisory in effect for Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the Upper Peninsula for Friday night into Saturday, and it may even be extended towards Tuesday if needed. Overnight, Friday into Saturday morning for Wisconsin and Michigan, mostly cloudy sky for Wisconsin. Keep in mind, a little light snow is still possible for the UP. Actual air temps go down towards 10, 12 below there. And then for Saturday, not much of a relief, partly sunny sky for Wisconsin. And maybe a few more flurries for the Upper Peninsula. High temps there, two below to one above. The normal's around 20 in Minnesota. Should go high temperature-wise from 10 below inland to maybe four below over the hill in the Twin Ports area. Warmest spot will be right by the lake. If you find open water, it should be four above. And temperatures will follow a similar pattern, like I mentioned, for the next week. So big, long, cold snap coming. If there's any hope for a warm-up, we'll let you know about it as soon as we can on the CBS3 Evening News at 5, 6, and 10 p.m.